So, but after you've shown them the, the moon and other things like that, so that, you get people who are coming back or become part of the group? Oh, yes, and, and some of them make telescopes. So, you, you know, you're, the, for those people, you are changing their lives, really. Well, that's true, but it, is, it serves them right. <laughs> well, that's, that's one way to say it. But it does. I think everybody deserves a chance to, to, to look up at the sky like that. Well, you see, you call it looking up at the sky. That's because you live on this stupid ball where the gravitational field is toward this stupid ball. But gravitational field of the solar system is mostly toward the sun, not toward this stupid ball. So, you know, uh, a lot of uh, people uh, point out that, that space isn't just out there. The Earth is in space, like Buckminster Fuller used to say. We're in spaceship Earth. We're part of it. When, when I was a kid, space was what's inside the house. <laughs> then space went outside. Then it got to be in the solar system. So that's the expansion of the universe. We, we, the we've got to have another step. We've got to get it out to the any, any place in the galaxy. Is it? <laughs> so with telescope making, we have a question, uh, too. I'm not sure which country. Um, somebody is asking about reducing coma uh, in his 10-inch reflector. Um, and, and it reminds me, too, one other I, I don't do photography, and I don't have to answer that question. Okay. You don't. <laughs> no. I'm not against photography, but it's something that I don't do. I've never had a camera in my entire life. Really? Never had a, any camera? Never had any camera in my entire life, well, no. you've had your picture taken quite a, a few times. But uh, my friends take pictures with their telescopes, but I don't. But I'm interested in the pictures that people can get with a 100-inch and stuff like that. The 100 inch is a very good telescope. The 200 inch is not such a good telescope, but the 100 inch is a very good telescope. Two people have told me that they look through the 200 inch and looking through my telescope on the sidewalk is a better show. Well, first of all, I didn't believe that they ever looked through the, tw through the, tw through the 200 inch. So I have to ask them. These are two separate events, you see, totally separate events. So one is a lady, she's a, she's a Canadian scientist and they came down to Palomar, and they did let them look. And the other is a truck driver who delivers all the stuff to Palomar, and they let him look. <laughs> anyway, so I had to ask these two people whether they really did look through the telescope. Yes, they really did. So what does it mean? Why did they let them look through the telescope? Because the moon is out, and they can't use the studied thing. The moon is out. So what did they look like? Look at the moon. Well, do you know what you see with the 200 inch when you're looking at the moon? One stupid crater. Yeah. I, I've seen the moon in the 200 inch. All right. Yeah. You know how bad it is. <laughs> well, I was by projection. It didn't have to blind me then. But uh, you're right. It's uh, only very high power. Yeah. Very high power. And it's, and it's true that for uh, observing and showing people things, it's a lot better to have a small telescope out on the Anyway, side. the 100 inch does a lot better image than the 200 inch does, so far as I know. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I use the 100 inch as well, and I've seen some stunning things in it. It's a rare treat a couple of times I've, I've had to use it. If the, you, hun the 100 inch is made out of French uh, wine bottle glass, yeah. green yeah. glass. And you can look at it from underneath. There are holes in the, in the mountain. You can look... I've touched it from underneath, you see. You look through there, it looks like a jump, like a dump heap. It does. It's not a good blank, but it works well. 